Hey GED students, one of the students in a GED group that I belong to on Facebook uh, sent in a snapshot of this particular problem. It's a pretty tricky data analysis problem. Uh, let's take a look. Uh, what we see here, it says question one is based on the following table. And we're given this table, and I need you to notice something about this table, mainly what kind of a table it is. Take a look at the way it's organized. Uh, we see the title, New Mexico, population by age 2010. And we see under 18, there's a number there, uh, you know, 518,672. That's a frequency. That's the number of people in that age range. And then we see it again, 18 to 9. 19, 20 to 24, there's all these uh, uh, numbers of people, these frequencies in this age range. So this is a frequency table. And then look at what they ask us to do with this frequency table. Number one, it says which of the following could have been the median age in New Mexico in 2010. And a lot of students who just have a very basic understanding of mean, median, and mode uh, do this problem wrong. In fact, I would say 95% of students do this problem wrong. And here's why. You guys say, oh, the way to find median is to put the numbers in order and to find the middle one. And the funny thing is I actually agree with you sometimes. Let me explain what I mean. The median is the center most item in a data set. But the trick here is to realize what's the data. Realize if this chart is about the New Mexico population by age, the data is a bunch of ages. The data is a bunch of ages. Now, could you list out all the ages and find the middle number like you're used to doing with median? Well, you could, but I got to tell you, you're going to run out of your time on your GED if you do, because look at the total number of people we polled. 2,059,179 people were asked their age. That means in order to do median the traditional way that you're used to, where you list out all the numbers, you would have to list out 2 million, over 2 million ages. Good luck. Good luck finding a piece of scratch paper big enough. Good luck ever finding the middle of that list. And so when you're given a frequency table, the easiest way to do median is often not with a list. Instead, the easiest way to do median is to think about this. Now, first of all, usually when you find median, you order the list, you put the numbers in order, and then you find the middle. I want to point out to you that these guys are already standing in order if you think about it, these two million people. We've got the under 18 year olds coming first, the 18 to 19 year olds next, the 20 to 24 year olds next, and so on and so forth. So the list is already ordered. The trick is just to find the middle. So I would like to point out that the middle is the halfway point. I hope that makes sense. If I've got two million people standing in a row, the middle is gonna be about the halfway point or about the one millionth person. So how am I gonna find the one millionth person? Well, all the under 18 year olds will come first. So we're already up to uh, 518,672. Now, the next people standing in the line would be these 61,000 people. I'm going to add along this column of numbers until I figure out where the one millionth person is standing. Now, if I were really doing this on my science, math, or social studies test, this kind of a problem could appear on any of them. I would have my TI, but y'all, I forgot to be prepared. I didn't bring my calculator, so here I am doing it by hand. Okay, so I'm not to the millionth person yet. Right now, I've got 579,874 people standing in my line. Let's add in the next group. 142, 370, so what do I get? 1, 11. Again, I would rather do this in my calculator. But poor planning on my part, I don't have it. So you guys get to watch me struggle. So I'm not to the millionth person yet. So let me add in the next group. Ooh, so close, 989,456, but I'm not to the millionth person yet. And really, if you think about it, since I have a little over 2 million, about 2,060,000, it'd be the 1,030,000th person I'm looking for, a half of that. And so I'm gonna add in my next group. Now, if I add in my next group, 393,362, 
that's going to take me well over the million mark. And you might be saying, well, Kate, we missed the million mark. What are we going to do? Well, it doesn't matter because what all you need to know is that that millionth person, whichever one they are, we might not know their exact age, but since we're now up to 1,382,000, we're way past. We know that within those, whoa, sorry, we know that within these 393,000 people is our middlemost person. So our middlemost person, whatever age they are, falls in the 35 to 49 range. Now that's all we can know from just looking at this chart. They just fall in, they could be 35, 36, 40, I don't know, they're somewhere in the range. But then when I go to look at these multiple choice answers, it says which of the following could have been the median age, could have been. Well, it can't be 30 because it's under the 35 to 49 range. Same thing with 32 and same thing with 34. The only number we have in this list that falls in that range is 36. Therefore, this is the only logical answer here. Now I realize this is really complex. Yes, absolutely. This is as complex as mean, median, mode, and range get. With a frequency table organizing the information, it changes how you guys usually think of the algorithms, okay? And so it's important to understand what it means to be mean, median, mode, not just to memorize some step-by-steps, because depending on how the information is presented to you, the step-by-steps can vary. So be sure to dig really deep into the concepts of mean, median, mode, have a great understanding of them before testing in science, social studies, or math. Great. I hope that this helped. This makes sense. I know it's complex and I'm actually working on more videos on this very topic in the next month. So look out for future updates. If you have any questions about this or any other GED math topic, science topic, social, whatever, drop it in the comments and I'll do my best to answer it.